That's it. thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Void Tech Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. 
Where are my manners? Are you Voltec Security? Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any Voltec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be Voltec, or you couldn't possibly be here. These mole rats were lab rats? Why, yes. I've grown quite fond of them over the years, but they outlived their usefulness 83 years ago. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Back again? We'll be watching you. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. We must consult 
the professors at the university. They could provide many answers. Guts wearing that pit boy in the common room. The cure. You found it. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Here, take the cure. And use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. It shouldn't be long. In the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. No, I hope me. you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault Tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. Whatever vault Tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-Commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth, consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system, and without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there, and if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. We'll